This is it guys, the final level in Painkiller Battle Out of Hell. Level 10, Shadowland. And we're going to be fighting King Alastor, yes. Not just Alastor, King Alastor now, so yeah. Anyways, you want to remove the Scepter, Confusion and Demon Morph because you're not going to need them. And you might as well also remove Soul Catcher if you use that as well because that's not going to be useful. And ignore the two cards I just placed there because those silver cards are not needed. You can use any silver card you want, really. But I decided to use them because, really, this is a let's play, and I find that armor regen, at the very least, is really useful in this level. However, I don't recommend using it because it's just one level, and it's better to use other tarot cards for other levels. So if you're planning to do a trauma playthrough afterwards, I'd recommend saving your gold and opting for something else like Vitality or something. But yes. Anyways, this is the final level, and there's tons of ammo to pick up. Now, if you are using the 666 ammo card, the 666 ammo card will not work in this level. Just thought I should let you know that. But I'm not using it, and yeah. Once you jump down here, you might take a bit of fall damage, and Alastor will appear. Now, I want to bring out the flamethrower for this boss fight, because... As you can see, there's these red circles here, or orange circles. You want to hurt yourself on those circles. Yes, you actually have to hurt yourself to beat the boss. And the reason for that is you want to summon these golems. And as you can see, there's a golem there. And you want to keep summoning golems. There you go, there's another golem. And these golems are basically the key to winning this boss fight. And you basically want to summon the golem, and the golem will stun our store. That is, if Alastor doesn't destroy the golem, and as you can see, there's armor regen doing its thing, and that's why I decided to use it, because I just think it's... I just think it makes things a little easier if you have armor regen. But yeah, just keep summoning golems until one of them finally stuns Alastor. Now, Alastor himself is very aggressive, and he... his attacks are... they... let's put it this way, his attacks have a lot of range, so it can be pretty difficult to avoid his attacks. But you should be alright as long as you have armor regeneration and as long as you can deal with him quickly, which you want to because the tarot card condition requires you to kill him in under 4 minutes, so yeah. But yeah, once once he's stunned, use your tarot cards and just finish him. Because, yeah, and once you do, you will get the most overpowered tarot card in the game, Health Stealer, which basically leeches health when you shoot enemies. So, yeah. I have known him as long as any mortal soul. 
Now that you have humbled yourself before him, he will allow you to choose your fate. That is one thing he has given us all. The freedom to choose. You can choose to return to Catherine. But I know you have feelings for me too. What I am saying, Daniel, is that you have alternatives. Times have changed since you walked in the garden, sweetheart. You've got nothing I want. So, you've made your choice then. I suppose there's nothing left to say except... Thank you. Wrong again, Eve. I think we have plenty to talk about. Gotta love how Daniel was all like, Be gone, thought at the end of that. But yes, that's the end of Painkiller Battle Out of Hell, and that's the final Painkiller game that was developed by People Can Fly. And you get to listen to the credits music one last time, which is pretty awesome. I do like this credits music. It's not as good as the Judas Priest Painkiller, but it's still pretty good. I mean, I'm not a big metal fan, but... Well, let's put it this way. I like metal music, but I'm not big into metal, let's go that way. And this game is all about the metal. <laughs> so, yeah. A lot of you might be disappointed that there's no Judas Priest in this game because of the name Painkiller, but at least there is a song called Painkiller, and it's this song. This is the theme song of Painkiller that's playing right here. And it was recorded by a band known as Mech, which is a Polish band, so yeah. But anyways, my thoughts on Painkiller Battle of Hell, I really like this expansion a lot. Like, I love the original Painkiller a lot as well, but this expansion has some really cool levels. Like, Looney Park is fantastic. That level is amazing. The first level, Orphanage, is really interesting, and it's a nice change of pace from the usual Painkiller levels, and it's got a really nice haunting ambience to it. I mean, the ambience is always good in the Painkiller games, but Orphanage is no exception. And then you've got, as I say, you've got Dead City, which is pretty chaotic, and I just love the chaoticness of that level. It really fits what Painkiller is all about. Then you get Leningrad, which is just incredible. That level is a work of art, it really is, but at the same time, it's a pain in the ass to get through. <laughs> oh, it is, like, I can't stress how irritating that level is. But when you finally do it, it is so satisfying to beat. And then you get Coliseum, which is pretty interesting level, like, I really like the music that plays, not not just the battle music, but I like the music and the like ambient music that plays in that level, it's really eerie and I really do like that, and the obstacles mix things up a little bit, and there's tons of enemies to kill and they're all really easy, and that means you can basically do whatever the hell you want to kill them for the most part. And then you get Underworld, which there's basically tons of treasure to hunt in that world, and, well, it's not really a level, but whatever. But yeah, there's tons of treasure to find in Underworld, and yeah, I didn't even show half of it. Well, I don't know if I'm, I might have shown half of it, but I didn't show all of it. There's still tons and tons of secrets to get in that level that I didn't show. And there's still tons and tons of secrets in other levels that I didn't show. One of which was in the vents in Looney Park, which I didn't show either. However, I will be going back through Looney Park, as I do have some bonus videos coming up, so yeah, be sure to check them out. But really, that's the end of Painkiller Battle Out of Hell, and I actually had a lot of fun playing through this game this time around, and simply because the recording didn't screw up on me like it did in the original. So yeah, this was a really fun Let's Play to do. So yeah. See you guys.